it's Joseph with OC Detailing. And what's going on in the shop today? First, I want to talk about what's going on with Alex. It's called Annual Review. We're actually pretty excited. Alex has now been with us for almost four years. So Do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> for remembering? It's been almost four years? He acts like I would forget. It's like a birthday. Alex takes it personally if I forget. That. We're going to celebrate by telling everyone that every time I say Alex is watching porn, I'm actually joking. He's not really watching porn most of the time. <laughs> so let's see what we got going on in the shop. This is an RS6 Avant wagon in this really cool yellow color that's getting a full wrap and then a bunch of uh, satin accents. As you can see, Hugo and Ryan over here, almost done with this car for like three days now. <laughs> What's left? And like, almost done for three days, which is understandable because these cars are no joke. They're really awesome. On the other side of the shop, we have Tesla City. So we got a Tesla Model Y here. We did a full wrap on this thing. Full Seaports Finance Reserve. Everything's done on it. Uh, we're just doing the last part where we put Seaports on it. And then uh, this thing will be ready to go home. And we have a blue Model Y here that we did a bunch of paint protection film on that the guys are finishing the paint correction on the back of it. This is a really big job on this Range Rover. Uh, we did a full rest. We're doing a full restoration on this. Wheels off. We're gonna wrap all the black trim on it, and then after that's done, we're gonna put C quartz on everything. Diego and Anthony over here working on another Model Y front end and four doors. Don't mind Anthony's head reflecting into the camera. It's like uh, I know the glare is massive. One day he will grow hair back so that stops happening. <laughs> and now, if you don't know Anthony, uh, uh, he's he's. He's a new old guy to the team. He worked here a few years ago and then he left us and then he came back. And now that I'm making fun of him again, he might remember why he left. I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have Jared being totally lazy, just kneeling on the job, along with Justin. Both these guys are actually very tall to be sitting like that. It's like, I don't know how they do it. I can only get in that position when I'm like playing paintball. To clean wheels, I'd be sitting on the ground. <laughs> So this car got full window tent. And then we have some cars outside here. These are all waiting to go in the shop for various different services. Huh? <laughs> this vlog is boring already. Oh, here Justin. Let's make the vlog entertaining. Let's talk about why my day started off so sh**ty. Uh, because Justin was late. You know what? So, so check this out. There's one person here who said, Man, Joe, I would really love to just come in early. I think it'll be good for all of us because I'll come in early. We'll get all the cars in position. And you know, everything will be staged for the day. And then that way when all the other guys get here an hour later, basically there's nobody waiting around. Everybody can just get straight to work. It makes us more effective, right? And I've been running laps around the shop all day is uh, because when I got here this morning, Justin was not here. His phone was off, so I didn't know if he was dead, COVID. I was sleeping. He was sleeping. He was sleeping and had a long night. Let's ask these guys out. Is the vlog entertaining now, Justin? Yeah. Are you entertained? Yeah. We're busy all the time. <laughs> we are busy all the time, and it's a great thing. Like, I, I am very blessed that we are this busy this all the time. Let me show you something cool here. Enough of my rambling for the day. Justin calls my vlog boring. So we have our garden here. Alex is doing, and he has stepped up his gardening game. Cherry tomatoes. We have. I don't know what all he has. I got to get Alex over here on a vlog so he can tell us what all this stuff is and talk about gardening. Even though you're probably watching this to see cars getting wrapped. We have Chris staring at his phone, which he perpetually does. Seems like a super common occurrence. I think he does that as much as he works. True story. So I have cameras everywhere that I can see while I'm sitting at my desk and Alex can see. And I'm not even making this up. Nine times out of ten when I look up, Chris is on his phone and he's got a squeegee in his other hand. I don't know how he's so efficient at getting work done while staying on his phone, but I would bet if he toned down the phone a little bit, he would get a lot more work done. I'm just throwing it out there so that YouTube now knows that Chris is on his phone too much. We have record of this in case Chris randomly comes up missing because I stab him one day because he's on his phone too much. And then we have a, a, oh, well, that's what I was gonna talk about before we saw Chris on his phone. I'm salty today, it's been a really hard day for me. Forgive me. We have an ISF. This is a really neat car. Lexus decided to enter the world of performance cars and do something to compete with like the BMW M cars, and Mercedes AMG cars, so they made this. The F. And this was the first one, the ISF. So it was uh, based on the IS platform. They put a five liter V8 in here. 
which they developed in-house. It's a really high revving, very powerful engine in this car. So it was a really neat looking car, but it wasn't very popular. They never really took off. Uh, I always thought they were pretty cool. So this one came in, we're gonna do a really big restoration on this car. Right now, when Chris isn't looking at his phone, he's doing some chrome delete stuff on it. So uh, we're blacking out some of the chrome trim and stuff to give it a little bit of a different look. And then we're gonna do a full paint correction on this car, which it really needs. There's etching, swirls, scratches, all kinds of stuff on this car. The wheels are gonna come off and get a full wheels off detail, which it needs pretty badly. And then we're gonna do some PPF on it in a couple places. And we have a 911 over here that got dropped off. Brand new car, it came from uh, wherever it was in a truck here and we're gonna do a full wrap on it and Drew's doing some window tint on it right now. Got two satin BMWs getting full stealth wraps. This is pretty cool. BMW Supra, so it's a BMW that partially identifies as a Toyota. And uh, this, the cousin to this is a Toyota Supra that partially is a Toyota that identifies, there's a BMW that is, identifies as a Toyota. And we have a red 911 getting some PPF. And we have this thing that's uh, waiting to go in the film room after the RS7 uh, or RS6. Uh, it's all prepped and ready to go. And then it'll get a full wrap. And then we have a Model X over here that we full wrapped a long time ago. It's now just uh, here for a chrome delete. Spruce it up a little bit. That's what we got going on. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe with OC Detailing.